What is up, you mutated muff patties of vaginal origins? I'm McStud. Whew. And welcome to the motherfucking McStud show. It's a goddamn Sunday. Shit dick Sunday. Sloppy toppies. Shitty dicky Sunday. I don't give a fuck what it is, but it's motherfucking Sunday. Day of the Lord. God bless. This dick. But first, a taste of beverage. Mmm, Colt 45. Works every time. Whew. Cheers, motherfuckers. <clears throat> Goddamn. Hope you motherfuckers had an uh, amazing weekend. Oh, been hot here. Had some good storms here for a short period of time. Cooled off, and now it's nice. Uh, had that crappy air quality from the wildfires of Canada's. Uh, but that storm took it away, so our air quality is good. Fuck, in ball sacks. Y'all ready for Monday? Work. Work on your boss's balls Monday. You know, just like, you know, calls you into the office, asks you some questions. He's like, I got a task for you. I'm going to need you to work on these balls. Like, <laughs> two days ago. <laughs> but you need to do it now. I need to have them finished up by 9 a.m. And yeah, I gotta get, uh, I got a 10.30, so you gotta make sure those are done. Zip, oh, Mama Margaret in the deli. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Jesus Christ. Anyways, so, sitting there watching this fucking show. It's on Netflix. I swear to God, everything you watch is a motherfucking porno. A porno on television. You know, always fucking sexual activity. I'm disgusted. It's against my religion. I can't watch this sexual deviancy going on. Especially on a Sunday when I should be praising Jesus. But the sexuality just never, never ends. You know, it's called uh, survival of the thickest. In, in, in that kind of title, you'd think about the thick. But no, it's not. I mean, it's actually kind of comical. Um, but there's goddamn sex. At least there's no titties in this. Everything else, watch that's titties. Which I guess nobody really knocks on titties. But <laughs> it's all porno. It's all fucking smut. Shit that needs to be swept under the rug that no one should fucking see, you know? God damn it. Jesus didn't put these titties and sexuality and sexual activities out here for us to just bask and masturbate in and watch in horror and slight interest. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, so we're watching this show. The bitch is going down on this dude and he's chewing bubble gum. He pops a bubble. And I am so fucking confused because and she's like, uh oh, and she pulls up and she's stringing this gum from his dick, and I'm like, wait a minute, did he just pull a magic trick? And he's got gum coming out of his cock hole, and she's like pulling it out. No, dude didn't shave his fucking bushy old regions, and she got her gum stuck in his pubes. The fuck, dude, shave. <coughs> I was trying to fucking pull their fucking big league chew out of your fucking wild outback bush. What the fuck, man? God damn top of that if she's gonna go all the way down on it then she's gonna get her nose tickled by some fucking pubes may get stuck in her teeth she might choke on a pube ain't nothing worse you ain't choking on a dick you're choking on a motherfucking pube I'm like wow you know the show started out with fucking sex chick met her ex well actually she caught her dude cheating on him and then she went out and met, met well met this dude that was interested in her and then she ended up Taking him home, she vomits a little on his shirt, and, and they still have been up fucking. Just fuck, 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 bang, 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 bang. Constant banging. And I'm just watching in complete disgust. And disappointment. With a slight chub. And slight because I took care of it. Ugh. Anyway, speaking of. Sexual activity. 
pulled my shirt up earlier. I was like, lick my belly button. And I started thinking about shit, you know, how these uh, lesbian bitches want to break out a strap on. And they want this other lesbian. Yeah, I've discussed this before. They got the, the chick sucking on a strap on. And the chick with the strap on is like, oh. oh. Um, I don't get it. I still don't get it. I haven't got it. But I was like thinking, what if a couple, like, a couple of larger people, you know? Like say it's a dude. And he wants his woman to break out the strap on. But he doesn't want her to fuck him in the ass. He pulls his shirt up and he's like, I want you to peg my belly button. You know, so you got this bitch with a strap on, just like going to town on this dude's belly button. She's like, oh, oh. And he's like, yeah, come in my belly button. I'm like, dude, it's a fucking plastic dick. There's no, no ejaculate to be had. Why? And you know, this has to happen. This has had to happen. You know, there's always the shit you think of. It's always fucking happened somewhere. Some crazy fucks have tried this, and I swear to God, this has happened somewhere. There's probably even a fucking video online of it, really. Like, oh, you fuck my belly button. She's like, oh, it feels so tight. Bitch, you fucking with a plastic dick. It has no fucking nerve endings. Oh. Look, look at how far we've come as a society, you know? We're sending people to space. People are going down to visit the Titanic and homemade submarines. But we still can't get a dildo that feels, but we act like it does. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. See, porno. You hear that scream? Fucking sexual activity. That's a lot of fucks in one sentence, goddammit. <sighs> Anyways, motherfuckers, I'm gonna get off here. Get back and watch this uh, Survival of the Thickest Porn. It's on Netflix if you guys are interested. Anyways, motherfuckers, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe I'll do a video tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. I gotta work on some motherfucking music. Goddammit. Um, that's happening. Anyways, bitches, I'm McStud. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you motherfuckers later. Deuces. Oh, stick your fake. Artificial limbs in my pussy so you can feel it.